Thanks for tuning in to another physics lesson with Mr. M. In this video lesson, I'm going to teach you how to resolve an angled vector into its x and y components. Now, this is a very important skill in physics, especially when you're learning about um, objects or motion in two dimensions. So you might be learning about force. You might be learning about momentum or projectile motion. Um, this skill is going to help you solve some of those word problems um, because, as you know, some of the equations are specific to your x component and your y component. And so in our problem here, we have um, an angled vector, has an angle of 32 degrees with the horizontal, and its value is 25 meters per second. Okay, we know a vector always has a direction um, with a measurement. So what we want to be able to do is take that resultant and break it into its x and y components. And so when we do that, when we break it into its x and y components, that process is known as resolving the vector. And so in order to do that, um, we do need to use our trig functions. So on the screen, um, you see we have SOHCAHTOA. Um, I'm pretty sure you know what that means. So let's go ahead and put it into, into use. I'm gonna start off with my x component. If I wanna solve for that, I have my angle here, right, 32 degrees. Now, in relation to that angle, my x component, these, that side of the triangle, is adjacent to that angle. So I know the angle measurement, that's the adjacent side, and I also know the hypotenuse. So I'm going to use the cosine function. So cosine of 32 degrees is going to equal adjacent over hypotenuse, x over 25. So that sets up a nice little fraction that all we have to do is cross multiply. So x is going to equal the cosine of 32 degrees times 25. Now make sure your calculator is in degrees mode and not radians mode, and you'll get an answer of 21.2 meters per second. All right, we're going to use the same process to solve for the y component. So that y is opposite of the angle. And once again, I know my hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse is the sine function. So the sine of 32 degrees equals y over 25. Cross multiply. So y is going to end up equaling the sine, sine of 32 degrees times 25, and so we get a final answer of 13.2 meters per second. All right. 